Um, well, um, I've been a prostitute for about 20 years, and um, I've just noticed some differences between um, the different races, sexually and in other ways. And um, look, I, I don't know how much of my story you want to know. Um, but so you had a husband. Yes. So you could have had a husband. Why did you get rid of him? And, and, and why haven't you started working on yourself? Well, I am working on myself. How? No. Misty, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi. How are you? All is Good well. Morning. Good morning. Go ahead. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, I was just calling. Um, I, I've, you, I've, um, you're not on a speaker or anything, right? No, can you hear me okay? Yeah, are you are you talking right into your, speaking into a phone? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, um, let's see. Well, I wanted to talk during the man hour. Um, I had some man issues that I wanted to address with you. Okay, go ahead. Um, well, um, I've been a prostitute for about 20 years, and um, I've just noticed some differences between um, the different races sexually and in other ways. And, um, and it seems like I get more, more guff from people about who I don't sleep with than about who I do sleep with. Why is that? When you say you get more, you get more what from them? Static, guff, hate. And, 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 and who are doing that to you? Um, people that, um, People that call call my number. People that um, are they yelling at you about sleeping more with white men or black men or Mexicans or what? I sleep with white men between the ages of thirty five and fifty five, and that's it. <laughs> oh, and that's and, all. And they don't like that that you do that. I get harassed all the time by the blacks and the Hispanics about it, and um, I just think that sexual racism is. It, it's, it's, um, it, 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 well, for me, it's a, it's a self-defense mechanism. And does it, how do they know you only sleep with white men? Do you say, tell them? I put that on the ad. Oh, I see. And, um, does it bother you that they don't like the fact that you don't sleep with other races? Yes. Yes. They want me to sleep with everybody. And why does it bother I, I, you what they think? Well, I mean, it, it seems like um, sexual racism, uh, sexual racism, I, I don't think is a bad thing. Why does it bother you about what they think about what you're doing? I just get a lot of uh, hell for, for it. I get a lot of hell for it. Are, you, bo hell. are you bothered by that? Yes. And why? Um, because it should be... Um, well, I, I guess because I think that it should be up to me uh, who I put the boundaries on. And I'm that, the one that's, that's making the judgment. And I don't think that that men, like me, a, a female, making judgments on males. But don't like you're, it you have, And you're right. You have the right to live your life the way you want to live it, sleep with whomever you want. But I'm still not understanding. You haven't told me why are you bothered at all about what someone else think about it. You didn't tell me that yet. I don't. Um, it doesn't bother me a lot. But I mean, a lot of your subject matter has to do with race and, and things like that. Why does so it bother it you at all? One iota of a bit. What other people think about it, the, the, the man you sleep with. Why does okay. that bother you at all? Okay, it doesn't. You said it bothers you a little bit. Well, it bothers me that I will, I will put on the ad that I just I'm want the white guy. I'm asking you, why does it bother you, though? Um, it, it, it should, like, um, for, for a woman, um, the less men that you sleep with, the better. I'm, Would you agree with that? I'm asking you, why are you bothered, period? Why do you even give me one thought about someone else's opinion about you sleeping with white men? That's what you want to do? You are you. You're no one else but you. 
It shouldn't yeah. bother you what I own her, and you still haven't told me why it does. Just because they keep bringing it up. But why does it bother you? Because they keep bringing it up. You're not happy with what you're doing? Um, I don't see any other way. What do you mean? I don't see any other way. Any other way to what? To deal with um, men. Why do you have to deal with men, period? Why don't you just get a job and have your own life? Because I don't think women should have to work at a job. But you think they should work selling their bodies? Well, um, that's sort of an exchange that that happens. Um, I would have had a, a husband. You what? I worked really hard at finding a husband in my 20s. I couldn't find a husband in my 20s. How old are you now? 50. I'm going to be 50 this year. Really? And, yeah. And you, and you start prostituting... Because you could not find a husband? Yes. And why did you need a husband? Um, well, because uh, at the time, um, I, I had children. I needed a husband. And I had a husband. Um, look, I, I don't know how much of my story you want to know. Um, but, so you had a husband? Yes. So you could have had a husband. Why did you get rid of him? Um, he gambled and wasn't a provider. Oh, I see. And why couldn't you, once he, you got rid of him, why couldn't you just take care of yourself? Um, because it's impossible. No, it's not. Nothing is impossible. How is it impossible to get a job? Get a job. <laughs> Why is that impossible to get a job? That's not true. So you think that women should be working? You if think that women should be working? If you, but you work and land on your back. Not very much. Not very much. But listen. I'm not getting don't, rich. But don't uh, women have rich, to, don't women rich. if women are not married with children, don't they have to take care of themselves? Um, they're, they're supposed to, but that's that's something the baby boomers created. The baby boomers created this environment where women have to work. No, you, no. you wouldn't even if it was 1950, you wouldn't even be telling me to get a job. I would tell you to get a job if you weren't married. How, how you, as a grown female, who gonna take care of you? Well, the father is supposed to, and when he doesn't, then the husband's supposed to, and when he doesn't. But if you don't have it, a it, husband, look, who's gonna take care of you? If if one man can't take care of me, then all of them have to. But um, but you got but the wrong the black ones Misty. and not the Mexican Misty. ones. Misty, what? You have the wrong mindset. Something wrong with you? Yeah, there is. I agree. I agree. You need to. Here's what I recommend. You got to start working on yourself to overcome that mindset. You have the wrong. At 50 years old, it's time for uh -huh. you to start working on you. Have you heard me say that each individual adult have to work on him or herself? Um, yeah, I think I've heard you say that. And, and, and why haven't you started working on yourself? Well, I am working on myself. How? Um, let's see, I go to therapy. Um, <laughs> I, have a, a, I have a writing. Um, have you gone and forgiven your hobby. mother? Hmm? Have you gone and forgiven your mother? Um, no. Why not? Um, boy, there's a lot of reasons for, for that. And give me one or two reasons you have not gone and forgiven your mother. She took away a baby of mine. That's number, and you're white, right? Yeah. So she took one of your kids away. Number two reason you haven't. Um, well, she, she lied in order to do that. She was deceptive in order to do that. And that, that give you a reason to be angry at her? Um, it, no, yes. Uh, you were talking about hate. Um, there, hate there's is deep, anger. Deep, hate deep, is... deep hate. I have deep hate for I my know. mother. For your mother? Yeah. yeah. And, and how will you ever be free if you don't forgive her, how would you ever be free? 
Well, what, this is what I'm figuring. She's uh, like 71. She's going to die real soon. But if she dies, so you're still going to be in hell. Am I? I, I think he'll be happier when she's dead. Nope, that's a lie from your dad and the devil. You're not going to be happy when she's dead. You're only going to be happy when you forgive. And because she took your child, if it's true, that still is not a reason to hate her. That's not a reason to have anger. How will you Look, be free if you don't forgive your mother? My my parents didn't want female children. They wanted, I was born on a farm in Montana. They didn't want females. That's still they, not a they reason wanted to. Males. That's still so, not so a reason. Got, so they got me and my sister first in order to get to my brothers, okay? And, and the brothers are the heroes. Right. And um, me and my sister were kind of left to the wayside. And then she exchanged me for my son. So now she has my son to replace me. And she's perfectly happy. Misty. And that's how she wants to live her life. But, and that's an ugly way to be. I, I, I wouldn't want to um, but you're as, ever you're speak as, to her. You're as bad as your mother because you will not forgive. So both of you... If what you're saying is true about her, both of you are, are serving evil. You, the unforgiving person, is as bad as the person they are judging. Well, that's that's good advice, and and um, I appreciate that, and it's something to consider for sure. Misty, if well, you what? if you want to be free, you got to forgive your mother. Then a uh, human beings do not have a right to ever be angry at another human being. It doesn't work. It doesn't work? No. You, it's keeping you in hell. You got to forgive your mother. Just as you can't help yourself, she could not help herself. The same evil spirit driving you is driving her. Well, you ha okay, but it's, it, you can't forgive evil people for doing evil stuff. Yes, you can. It's evil. How will you be? be okay, okay. How, how are you, you going to forgive? How would how, you how be? You hold, on, hold on, hold on, Joy hold on, hold on, hold on. How are will you going to forgive Joy Reid? Yeah, I don't hold. I understand what's driving Joy Reid. It's not her. It's that evil spirit in her. I she can't help herself. So I hold nothing against her because I understand what's driving her. Have you? I want to ask because of time. Have you forgiven your father? I I was never that mad at him. Have you talked to I him about it? Mad at my mother. Have you talked? No, I haven't talked to him in twenty years. And why not? Um, there's a restraining order. They don't want me to be around my son, so they put a restraining order on me 20 years ago. I'm not legally allowed to talk to him. Well, FaceTime with him. No, that's not allowed. Oh, well, here's what I recommend. Go FaceTime with your mother, forgive your mother, forgive your father. They could not help themselves, just as you can't help yourself. And, uh, All right. And I've never heard of a 20-year restraining order. <laughs> That's new. A, a permanent lifetime restraining order, yep. You must be doing something really crazy. No, no, no. So here's what I recommend, Misty. Do what you want because of time. You got to go and forgive. Don't let Satan tell you that there is a reason not to forgive and to wait until she dies. You're going to be free. That's not true. He's lying to you. Ooh, yeah. I can't wait till she dies. Uh, but see, that's not love. No, it's not. So you understand you have hatred in your heart? Yeah, I do understand that. And how do you feel about it? Um, um I, I guess it drives me. R right into hell. Is that what? It drives you right into hell. Is that what's happening? Yes. You're in hell right. and you don't realize. But listen, do my silent prayer. Forgive your parents. Let me know how it goes, all right? All right. I just totally